What is going on, I've Warriors? So I know that a lot of you guys hate the whole process of weight loss. It's just too difficult. How do you stick to it? What do you do? How do you make this easier? So I'm gonna give you five ways to make weight loss very, very easy. Like almost like you don't have to think about it so much, but you still can get the results from it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that you should do is have your meals at home, pick three different meals that you will like to put together, understand the, the calorie counts and everything, the nutrition that you get from all of those three different meals, and then simply rotate those meals for as long as you like. If meal number one tastes super, super good, then you can eat that repeatedly over and over until you get tired, then you go to meal number three. If you get tired of that and you really love meal number one, you go back to meal number one. If you wanna go and start trying meal number two, you do that. If you wanna go back to number three, and you just keep rotating at this this way, you don't have to necessarily count anymore. You did a count of calories and all of that stuff in the beginning. Now you understand how much a tablespoon of uh, oil is or what two pieces of chicken breasts are or how much one cup of rice is. You already know it, so you don't have to keep counting it. All you gotta do is prepare it. But preparing it with already knowing the background information of the food is a hundred times easier. Don't make it a daunting task where you have to figure out new foods to eat every day. Just pick three different types of foods and eat them in rotation. Trust me, this is a strategy that will help give you more peace of mind. You will never have to wonder, did you overeat? Did you not overeat? If you've already pre-understood or pre-measured everything and counted everything and then just rotated those three different meals every single day obviously one day you'll get tired of them if you do five six months later you will be in a much better position and then you can pick three different meals learn them understand them and start the process all over again try to use this tool if you're finding it very difficult to have to measure every single time number two is use incidental walking and by this i mean increase your neat increase your non-exercise activity thermogenesis and the best way to do this the best way to increase your neat is to create moments of walking where you could have normally not walked. For example, taking the elevator when it's four flights up, how about you just go four flights up? It's a small moment in time, but if you continue to do this, it will continue to compound and your non-exercise activity thermogenesis will continue to increase on a daily basis because instead of taking shorter routes, you're taking longer routes. Instead of, instead of driving five minutes to this place, you decide to walk to this place. Create incidental walking. It will take you a long way to reducing your your heart rate and things of that nature that help with blood flow which increases your cardiovascular system and also helps with body fat burning because you're increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis this will help you without really having to think about going to the gym or even working out number three use intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is just a huge help because what are we talking about when we talk about weight loss we're not really talking about losing weight we're talking about losing fat nobody wants to really lose muscle tissue or lose bone marrow or whatever no you want to lose actual body fat you don't want to lose weight you want to lose body fat that's what you're truly focusing on. And what better tool to use than something that literally helps mobilize body fat burning by using your fatty acids as fuel when you are fasting. So if you want to add a layer of more uh, calorie partitioning where the energy that you're burning is being focused directly on body fat or is being focused heavily on body fat, uh, there's no better tool than intermittent fasting to help you do that obviously you still have to be at a caloric deficit which is where the three meals in rotation comes into play the first thing to do but in terms of the calorie partitioning what's actually being burned if you want it more in your favor for body fat burning then doing intermittent fasting can definitely help you do that number four eat your favorite food eat your favorite foods let me say this again eat your favorite 
foods while ensuring your daily nutrition is met for the day and that you are obviously at the caloric deficit needed for weight loss. So what does this mean? Do not neglect foods that you like. Just obviously make sure that it fits within your nutrition for the day that you need uh, and you know the, the minerals and all of that stuff. Make sure it fits, but make sure you also eat the things that you like because if you do not, it's going to be very hard for you to stick to it. And one of the biggest problems with weight loss is not actually the weight loss itself. It's weight regain. So many people can lose weight. So many people have lost weight. Even people that tell you it's impossible for me to lose weight. Those people have lost some weight at certain points in time during their lives, but they regain it back because they don't have a steady system that they can stick to. Please make sure that you don't just go super hard on super healthy foods or just tasteless stuff that you know is the mega ultra mega super healthiest things in the world and you eat a balance of getting your nutrition but also eating foods that you like that have flavors that you enjoy this will help you stick to it forever which is the most important thing avoiding weight regain and number five increase Please increase your protein intake on a daily basis. One of the things that happens a lot by so many people is that they don't actually consume as much protein as they could to benefit them for weight loss because protein has the highest thermic effect of all of the uh, macronutrients, higher than carbs and definitely super high over fats. Fats is like one to five uh, percent uh, thermic effect, while uh, carbs is like five to 10, but, uh, but, but protein is about 30%. So that means if you consume the 100 calories of protein, 30 calories of that 100 calories has to be used just to consume and break down the protein. That's how high the thermic effect for protein is. On top of that, protein is providing amino acids, which is the building block for building muscle. And that helps you build muscle. Because even if you're not working out, right? Even if you're not going to the gym and actually doing uh, you know, explicit resistance training, just walking, lifting, moving around requires muscle activation. Even though you're not building a, a substantial amount of muscle, you're mitigating muscle loss by consuming protein because that is one of the pillars of protein synthesis increased calorie uh, intake, uh, uh, in, uh, meal frequency, and protein consumption. So if you are ensuring that you are eating more protein, at least 0.7 grams per pound of lean mass, it is going to help you not only in terms of the thermic effect, which means you are getting more bang for your buck and burning calories, the more protein you're eating in terms of your total calorie intake, you are also helping build or mitigate muscle loss by providing your body with that amino acid injection that comes from consuming protein which lean mass is the primary driver for your metabolic rate that all helps you burn body fat so these are the easiest ways to do it notice i didn't say go to the gym exercise or anything like that these are the easiest ways the five easiest ways that i could think of where it's not fake or magic or you're trying to circumvent anything these are the five easiest ways to lose weight hopefully this video helped you guys patreons will be pinned at the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.